Mm. Post it on air. Get everyone, Viv here. Hope you're all keeping well. Sitting here drinking a nice uh, IPA. This one's actually not really all that hoppy. This is a Vale IPA. I've had it before. Uh, whereas this brewed, I'm pretty sure this is a yep, South Australian beer from McLaren Vale. Vale IPA is our interpretation of an American Indian pale ale using a combination of hops from three countries. That's why it's a little bit odd. This beer is designed with a balance of malt and hops, giving a firm bitterness showing passion fruit, citrus, and stone fruit characters. You know, it's not my first choice for an IPA, but it's the only one I had in the fridge. I drank another one earlier on tonight. I don't remember what that was, but this isn't too bad. It's not too bad. It really, you can really taste that passion fruit in it. It's not my favourite IPA. Anyway, I thought I'd stick on the old, uh, what's this called? Google Plus thingy. Because at home on my computer here, I don't have all the editing software. So we'll see how it goes. There might be a little bit of lag. I don't know. I think I can see a little bit of delay. But anyway, I thought I'd sit here, drink that beer, smoke some shisha, and talk about the 40k Escalation League that we're organising, or that Dean Z is organising at the studio. Starting 500 points. It's been a long time since I've played some 40k. Um, I kind of mix about it. I'm really looking forward to it, but at the same time, after sort of being a GW hater for ages, um, I feel a little bit conflicted. I, I'm not sure if I should actually enjoy it or not, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to play my Imperial Fists, but I'm looking forward to doing an Air Cavalry list. Now, I know that Air Cavalry is normally the domain of Imperial Guard, but I thought, bugger it. I want to play a themed force. I'm not massively into competitive list crunching and all that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd make up a little fluff story for the 219th Imperial Fist Air Cavalry Expeditionary Force. I've written up a little uh, sort of list on our forums, or a little uh, sort of description of what my list is. Starting at 500 points, basically includes a chaplain as the HQ, um, two units of minimum scouts, so five scouts, uh, one with a heavy bolter, sergeant with multi uh, with uh, melter bombs, cruising around in a land speeder storm. So I've got two of those guys, and then a land speeder squadron, three land speeders, Simply due to the points and trying to cram everything in, um, I'm simply just going with uh, uh, heavy bolter options on the on the land speeders. Should be should be interesting. Should be good fun. Um, starting at 500 points, every six weeks we'll add another 250 points. Um, points for painting, points for conversions, and all that sort of stuff. Points for games, and somewhere towards the end of it, maybe a couple months from now, we'll uh, someone will win. So I went out today and picked up, Jesus Christ, the Space Marine Codex. This was not cheap. In Australia, it was not cheap. Um, but it's an interesting book. I've flipped through it once. I'm going to have a bit of a flip through it later on. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm a little bit conflicted about whether I, sh <laughs> whether I should be playing 40K, given that I I've been hating on them for ages. Excuse me. But I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun escalation league, I think. Um, there's six or seven of us who are, who are playing, so uh, I don't know. I don't know how competitive my list will be, uh, given the fact that it's uh, sort of mostly going to be scouts and land speeders and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we are using Forge World rules, so uh, stuff from Imperial Armor, from Aeronautica, I think it's called. So I, I'm hoping I can grab some uh, Tempests, Landspeed of Tempests, I think they're called. Should be good fun. So this shisha that I'm smoking is Grape and Mango, I think. I'm pretty sure Grape and Mango.
So anyway, I thought I'd stick the Google Plus on, sit here, have a bit of a ramble about that 40k Escalation League, drink this IPA. It's actually, it's not really all that nice. That that bloody passion fruit flavour in this uh, Vale IPA, this is an Australian beer made in South Australia, is not very good. It's not, I don't know, they, 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 they call it an American India Pale Ale, but it's certainly a little bit different than what I'm used to. Anyway, so I thought I'd stick that on. I've got paint on my face. I've been sitting here finally. Oh, god damn. This bloody Badger airbrush. I had to get an adapter for this airbrush to fit uh, the collar on my uh, hose that runs to the compressor. I had to buy four different Badger airbrush adapters to find one that bloody well fit. So I've finally been able to get this Badger airbrush sorted out. Done a little few things with it. I've been uh, working on my uh, rhinos, sprayed the the tracks and all that sort of stuff underneath. I don't worry about doing the base of them. I can't really be bothered. Um, but it's coming along nicely. I masked off and did a red arrow on the top, and so they they're coming along. Um, I've got a drop pot in the garage, which is drying at the moment. Uh, not a Games Workshop drop pot, but Excuse me, one of those uh, CNC scenery drop pods. Anyway, so it's cracking over here. Oh. So that's it. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to. Stick the Google Plus on mainly because the computer here doesn't have all the editing software and the camera and stuff trying to record stuff and use Windows Buddy Movie Maker to edit stuff is a pain. I really haven't used it for ages and it's so crap compared to the software that I have in the studio. So I thought I'd stick the Google Plus on, smoke a little bit of apple and uh, grape and mango shisha, drink my beer, have a bit of a ramble about that 40k escalation leak. So I'd be interested to hear people's feedback. I'm not a list cruncher, I'm not a 40k person. I haven't played a game of 40k for such a long time, but uh, I'd be interested to see what you say. I'm thinking about running an air cavalry list, mostly scouts, mostly land speeders. Um, I really want to try and steer clear of, of any sort of tanks or anything like that. I may include a drop pod with a unit of um, normal tactical marines in it, uh, just as a little bit of extra support, but mostly scouts, mostly land speeders, a uh, bit of that um, land speeder tempest action from uh, M. M what are they called? Forge World. We're starting at 500 points and uh, moving forward from there. So, uh, in my list at the moment, I've got a. Uh, oh, there's people watching and a comment from Barrett Musselman. It's not the game's fault, the company is run by a bunch of douches. Well, that's true. It's true. I mean, I've, I have always enjoyed 40K, but it's it's nice just to rag on it every now and then. And given that there's so much choice out there, I can rag on it. But I think because there's so much choice and there's so many options, it's hard to find regular playing groups, which is part of the reason I think that we're starting this 40K Escalation League because everybody's got some models sitting around somewhere and can play 40K. Not everyone has Saga. Not everyone has uh, all these cool little indie games that I've been collecting. So... Uh, playing some 40k is the easiest log logical choice. We did uh, Irish tried to get some uh, mm, fantasy action happening, but it just didn't happen. There are a lot of fantasy players around, but oh god, that beer is terrible. Oh fuck! I don't know why I buy this. I bought it last time, and I thought I liked it, but it's absolutely really terrible. That bloody passion fruit flavour, you don't, you don't want a passion fruit flavour in a beer, that's ridiculous. Anyway, so come back to my 500 point list. Uh, champ, uh, Chaplin, pretty much naked, except uh, uh, swapping out his bolt pistol for uh, a bolt gun. Actually, let me bring up my little thing here so I can remember what I've got in it. Um, I'll just quickly duck off to our forum, which is here, and I'll just bring it up. Imperial Fists, 219th Air Cavalry. Expeditionary Force. So here we go. We've got a chaplain replacing his bolt pistol with a bolt gun. He's leading two uh, 
troops. And that brings up my minimum. As far as I'm aware, it hasn't changed. One HQ, two, tro two troops. Um, both five scouts. Uh, Melter bombs with the sergeant. One heavy bolter. Cruising around in a land speed of storm. That land speed of storm has had its heavy bolter replaced with a multi melter. That's the first squad. Second squad is pretty much exactly the same, except the land speed of storm has an assault cannon fixed instead of the uh, heavy bolter. And then uh, for fast attack, I'm taking a squadron of three land speeders. Um, and they've all been outfitted with uh, heavy bolters. They come with the heavy bolters. I'm not swapping out that, that out for the flamer or the multi melter. I'm just keeping the heavy bolters on there, and uh, then the tornado pattern underslung sort of heavy bolter underneath it. Um, and the reason I haven't swapped it out is basically for a little bit of fluff and to sort of use that uh, new uh, chapter tactics that Imperial Fists have, bolter drill, um, re-rolling on ones. So that's it. Chaplain, two units of scouts, three land speeders. It's 496 points, and... Um, in six weeks' time, we'll add 250 points. Six weeks after that, after that we'll add 250 points, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So um, I don't know where this dreadnought's going to come in handy that I painted up the other day. Um, I've been working on the uh, second edition Marines that I had hanging around. They've just got base coats at the moment. And anyway, that's it. I'm not going to sit here and ramble on for ages. Um, Nobody else in the hangout here, and uh, I'm not really interested. I'm not doing anything except just sitting here rambling, and uh, it's not going to be terribly entertaining for anyone. So that's the 40K Escalation League. That's this Vale IPA from McLaren Vale in South Australia. I grew up in South Australia in the capital city, Adelaide. McLaren Vale is about sort of an hour south, um, and it's absolutely terrible. I do not like it. And I'm smoking some shisha. I've quit smoking cigarettes several months ago, four, five, six months ago, and um, I've been having cravings for it again, so I thought, look, I'll smoke some shisha, which is, some would argue is probably worse, but um, at least it's not a continuous sort of habit sort of situation. Anyway, that's it, 40K Escalation League. Let me know what you think of my 496 points, my 500-point 40K uh, Escalation League. Chaplain, two units of scouts in Landspeeder Storms, and a squadron of three land speeders. Um, interested to see how that goes. I don't expect it to be massively competitive, but it's going to be fun. Um, if you're interested in um, what I've written up for them, you can duck off to knightsofdice.com, jump into the forums. Somewhere in the forums under miniature games, you'll find the 40K Escalation League Imperial Fists 219th Air Cavalry slash updated, and you can read what I've written there. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, Oh, I really hate these comments things because I'm about to hang up and then fucking a whole bunch of comments pop up. I don't know the new book sounds like a fun list. I don't know the new book either. I bought it today. It's a nice book. It's actually a nice book, but it's a little bit expensive, but so be it. Get over that. Get over that. I earn enough money to buy good shit, so buy good shit and enjoy it. Um, ramble on. I don't really feel like rambling on. I'd ramble on if I had a nice beer to drink, but this actually is really, really terrible. But I'm going to drink it anyway. And this, oh god, that's terrible. Either that beer is bad, either the beer is bad or it's just a shocking beer. I don't remember it being this bad. I probably shouldn't drink it. It's absolutely foul. Ah. The shisha is uh, grape and uh, grape and peach. Uh, no, uh, peach, mango, peach. I can't remember. It's either peach or mango, but I certainly know it's got some grape in it. No, yeah, well, Tyrone, okay. I don't know what. I remember last time having it, and it wasn't too bad. That's why I picked it up, but this is really, really terrible. There's got to be something wrong with it. Anyway, terrible, terrible, terrible business. I wonder how... You know, what What else can I have a bit of a ramble about since I'm sitting here? I really should have organised something else except my 40k, this IPA and this shisha. Oh, yes. You know what? I really need to get organised and get into the studio. 
I got all of the figures back from the painters. I've now got five fully painted factions or forces for Saga. Uh, the Irish, uh, Vikings, Young Vikings, um, Anglo-Danish, and something else. Got all those back. Had uh, four of those factions painted, or what was the first faction? Ah, oh, the Skraylings. The Skraylings. So I had four of those factions painted by one company. I sent off all of the Dead Man's Hand figures for uh, that are made by Northstar. I think Northstar produced those for Dead Man's Hand. Can't quite remember. Sent all of those off to a different company, had those painted, and sent off all the In Her Majesty's Name to another company, had those painted. Got everything back now. Yeah, I should stop drinking. It's absolutely terrible. That's gross. That's fucking gross. Send them all off to different companies. And I was really, really happy. At different prices, obviously, from everybody. And I sort of asked for sort of middle of the range sort of quality. But everybody did a really good job. So I've got to get into the studio, get those out. Maybe Tyrone can come and sit down with me. You know, do that Ty fat chance. Yeah, I think you'd like to, but... Maybe we can do that tomorrow if you take a day off. Chuck a sicky man and come to the studio with me tomorrow. Ah! So uh, I want to review those, pimp their work a little bit, have a look at them, and then hopefully we can start to organise some games. Um... I guess the biggest driving force there is me. I'm a bit of a slacker at the best of times. And nothing's going to get organised unless I actually organise it. So uh, Deansy's doing a great job of getting the 40k stuff organised. Um, so I guess I need to be the one that's going to drive forward the little independent skirmish games. Because they're good, fun games. So... So there's that going on. Need to get that organised. What else? Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to ramble about. Ramble about. I've been really. I've been having a great time here at home, actually. Um, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, um, it's kind of difficult for me to be at the studio, uh, sort of several evenings uh, a week, uh, because Kim wants me here at night time. So. Um, it's been good to bring some miniatures home, uh, get some get some paints organised, and oh, but I'm not going to move that around. It's so sh fuck it. There's paint bottles and all that sort of stuff, and it's been really nice to have some stuff here to paint uh, during the evenings. Slowly chipping away a little bit by little bit, and um, it's been good fun. Sit here, watch YouTube, uh, which I sort of got out of for a little while, and uh, jumped back into uh, PC gaming with the 19th Battalion, who I game with, um, and I sort of I ebb and flow between the two, a little bit of uh, PC gaming and sort of get stuck in that for several weeks and then sort of get frustrated with how shit I am at online games and then come back to the miniature painting and my own little world and solitary and sort of watch YouTube and uh, paint some figures and then I get frustrated at that and then I go back to the PC gaming and it sort of ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows. So um, anyway, it's been really nice to have some stuff here at home to paint. But having said that, I've now organised at the office to spend three days a week at my studio to get some projects that I'm working on there finished and sorted out and done so I can actually feel like that massive studio space that I have is actually worth the money that I'm paying for it. Right now it's sort of just an indulgence, a bit of a luxury. Um, but I have been working on some models which uh, I want to get cast up and hopefully just flog a few off here and there. Um, at the moment I'm working on some um, Mordheim-esque sort of Tudor buildings. And this time I'm actually spending some time 
working on them and not not sort of having to worry about filming everything and making tutorials and all that sort of stuff, uh, which I, which I think is something that gets me a bit frustrated because trying to do a multi-day tutorial is is difficult at the best of times. So I've been taking my time with these buildings. I'm really looking forward to getting them done. Probably another two weeks worth of work in the building that I'm working on, but uh, that, uh, they'll come out really good, I'm sure. So uh, that's it. I'm not going to sit here and ramble on. Been watching. Uh, <laughs> every time I say I sit here and not rambling on, I'll ramble on. Been watching crusade documentaries. I'd love to get some miniatures and play some crusades. I really like the stuff from... Uh... No, it's at the studio Fireforge. They make some cool uh, crusade figures. I picked up some of those to add to my Bretonians, which I didn't really need to do. There's way too many Bretonians there anyway. Anyway, that's it. I'm going. I'm really going now. This Vale IPA, which is normally very good, this one is probably bad, and that's why it tastes absolutely terrible. Uh, sit here and smoke some mango and uh, uh, grape shisha, or grape and peach, I can't quite remember what it is. Um, and my 40k list, so drop your comments on my 496 point Air Cavalry Imperial Fists. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm heading off. Take care. See ya.